Uh, what type of work does your company do here on, on Earth specifically? <laughs> <laughs> Our vision over here is to have a world where we want to see waste as a resource, not as a problem, and to kind of transform this waste into some usable instruments, usable tools that can be used not only on the terrestrial space, but also in space. So we develop AI solutions robo using robotics, uh, additive manufacturing, and advanced drones to categorize waste, transform them into usable tools using 3D printers. And um, recently, we participated in this challenge, Lunar Recycling, Lunar Recycling Challenge, and uh, we competed against 1,700 to 1,200 teams in between that range. Uh, across 86 countries, and uh, we are one of those 17 winners that are being recognized by NASA. Wow. And how have you adapted this technology then to be used in space? We came up with this idea to develop an assembly line uh, that can be procured in Canada, that can be developed in Canada, in our university or in our Edmonton, and then assemble it in a way that can be very self-autonomous, that can be modular for lunar environments, and uh, we are trying to simulate it in a way that it can behave in uh, space conditions. <laughs> yeah, because they're very different conditions than here on Earth. Yes. Uh, uh, how critical is waste management in space? Because I think it's something that maybe a lot of us don't think about. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question. Um, in general, you'd be amazed that 125 kilo kilograms of waste is being generated oh. by one astronaut in one mission. They are very worried about uh, the waste they are being carrying in the space. Every kilogram that is being taken to the space is a cost for them. So they wanted to reduce that waste as much as is possible. Uh, they wanted to work on those processes that can be developed to uh, reduce the workload on equipment. And at the same time, they want to reduce the waste to the levels that they don't want to bring it back to Earth. They wanted to make it reusable in space, just like making panels, making brackets, making um, a lot of insulations that could be used for protect protection against uh, the habitat they will be working in. So it sounds like there are still a number of things you need to get in order, but when do you think, and I know a timeline is going to be difficult on this, but when do you think we could actually see this kind of technology being used in space? So right now it's a partial prototype being developed already, yeah. so we have to finish it uh, by um, in next 8 to 12 months. Okay, so that's why you had time to come in this morning because yes. you still got 8 or 12 <laughs> months ahead of you.